This video covers the installation of PHP onto your Pi. Previous videos have thoroughly covered the initial setup of the Pi, Linux administration, MySQL, networking, secure remote access, the Apache web server, and HTML. And this stage builds upon all of these videos. In common with the previous videos, our aim here is not to teach PHP at this point, that will come later. Here, we are just concerned with the process of ensuring that PHP is installed and working correctly on your Pi before the programming begins. In the first video of the series, we stated that we could set up a fully working, intelligent, database-driven web server in less than 20 commands. We will live up to this claim here, starting with an entirely clean installation of a new Pi and the Ruspian operating system. Over the last 12 months, Raspbian has developed as the preferred option, replacing the Fedora and Debian distributions mentioned and used in past videos. So in this video, the reinstallation of a web server Apache, the reinstallation of the database engine MySQL, the installation of the Hypertext preprocessor PHP, the installation of the useful utility PHP MyAdmin, testing PHP and the interconnectivity of MySQL, and finally using a fixed IP. With all of this done, you will have a really powerful base from which to develop your skills. It is probably the most popular configuration found on the internet today, and is referred to as LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So let's begin with a fresh Raspbian installation configured correctly for your setup and location, updated with the root partition expanded and the standard Pi password augmented, booting into text mode and SSHD remote access enabled. Let's annoy the Linux Taliban again by taking the risk of operating purely as the most powerful user root by entering sudo password and entering the password for the root user and reboot. At reboot, enter the root and the new password. First, let's load the web server Apache. The command is apt-get install apache2. On a normally clocked Pi, installing Apache takes about two minutes, depending upon your connection speed. Obviously, reply Y to the installation challenge, a reply common to all the forthcoming questions unless stated otherwise. I'll fast forward the process here for convenience. Little can go wrong at this stage, so let's press on with the installation of MySQL when the prompt returns. Type apt-get install mysql server. This process takes a little longer on a normally clocked 700 meg pi. The process is interrupted twice. The first request is for the standard install yes no, and the second occurs to enter the administration password for mysql. Once again, this is a straightforward installation that should occur without error. It's fast forwarded here. Now for the subject of this video, the installation of PHP. Type apt-get install PHP 5, 5 being the version available at the point of filming. This process takes about four and a half minutes on a normally clocked 700 meg processor and is not interrupted following the normal installation yes no request. This screen is on fast forward, but don't be too discouraged if your machine appears to hang or loop during the installation. Be patient. Now, while we're on a roll, let's do one final installation of the facility called PHP MyAdmin. Blindly follow this for the moment, as its purpose will become clear shortly. Needless to say, the command is apt-get install PHP MyAdmin. This is a quicker installation. After the configuration of the installation, it only needs you to select the configuration to work with Apache or LightPD. LightPD is a light and fast alternative web server, but select Apache here. It also asks for a password to run phpMyAdmin and the password you set up for use with MySQL. Enter both when requested. Again, this is a standard installation and error should not occur. At the prompt, if you've been using the text mode, enter StartX to enter the graphics or GUI mode. Everything should now be installed, so let's test each element step by step. We will pass quickly over the first pass as they have been covered in previous videos. Apache is the service that operates in the background. To see if it's working, we need to connect a client. The client for a web server is a browser, and there are several supplied with the Pi. 
127.0.0.1 is a special IP loopback address, also known as localhost, and it means you can look back at yourself. So select a browser and enter the address http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. And if this It Works page appears, then Apache is installed, configured, and operating correctly. An option, if it's not, will be to reboot. Apache serves web pages, and you may remember from the HTML video that the default location of the web pages on your Pi are held in slash var slash www, and they have the extension .htm or .html. PHP files may be written using nano as before, and may be stored in exactly the same place. The only difference is the extension is the .php. So, open the root terminal window and enter nano slash var slash www slash test.php. Of course, being a clean install, there's nothing there. Without question, simply enter the first PHP script. Note that nano appears to help us by color coding the script. Don't worry about the contents for the moment. This will all become clear in the PHP videos. Save and exit nano. Now the acid test. As the file was called test.php and it was stored in the root of the web server, then it can be seen by entering it into the address bar, the loop address, http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash test.php. PHP is installed, configured and operating if you see this test info page. This is a standard way of confirming that PHP is working on any server and provides a good deal of information about the PHP configuration itself. I'll scroll down the page, but don't be intimidated by the contents. These are only configuration settings and will become very familiar after a little use. So your browser is working. It can serve simple HTML pages and run more complex PHP commands. Now commands can become even more powerful if they are linked to some form of recollection, so that your visits to a website can be remembered and acted upon. This is done by a connection to a database. In this final stage, we confirm this connection between PHP and MySQL. Return to the browser and enter http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash php myadmin. The Pi now really is having to start to work hard to eventually produce this page. Enter your username and password to reveal this page. The processor is maxing out as shown by the small graph icon here. Be prepared for delays and similar indications of very high levels of processing power being used. This is PHP MyAdmin and it's a graphical facility that allows you to drive your database from the browser. It confirms the final part of the LAMP system. The database is installed, configured, and correctly coupled to Apache PHP. Well done. From here, the world is your oyster. The rendering of the PHP MyAdmin in any of the browsers supplied with the Pi does leave a little to be desired, as does the time taken to produce each page. The Chrome browser may be installed onto your Pi by entering apt-get install chrome-browser. When installed, it will be seen here in the menu system. This will produce a better rendering of the page and provide additional functionality. It does also explain how the configuration needs to be changed if you want to use it as root user. Improved performance will be provided by connecting a separate client browser in a second machine, leaving your Pi just to handle what is known as the server-side processing. This has been covered in the earlier videos on networking. Use of the PHP MyAdmin and the PHP will be covered in forthcoming videos. Play if you wish, but do note, because you have now connected your database to the web using PHP and PHP MyAdmin, it does become available to anybody. The real world is a nasty place, and your settings will be probed by ne'er-do-wells. Security and firewalls are covered in future videos, but for the moment, do not use weak passwords. You have been warned. Finally, a note on network connection. Observant people will have noticed several comments during the installation process regarding the ability to find a server's name and references to other IP addresses. 
the notes on IP address shows the Apache server has also been configured to run on HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.1.1. Try this and it should appear to be exactly the same as HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. You could also try HTTP colon slash slash Raspberry Pi. These options work because of the settings held in a special naming file slash etc slash hosts. Entering this will produce the same output. These videos are designed to get you up and running quickly with a platform that you can test and play with. Servers tend to be located in known places, i.e. have well-known addresses. Should you need to force your server to have a dedicated IP address, then nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. Replace this reference to DHCP to static and then complete the following lines filling in the crosses with the IP address of your particular network. In this video we have taken a completely clean Raspbian installation and installed the Apache web server, MySQL database and PHP hypertext processor to form the LAMP system. It's a very popular configuration and a powerful base from which to develop new skills.